Hello and I welcome you to my video classes on hard and concrete of concrete technology myself Vishwanath Avati so we'll see today's content so it is chloride attack on concrete so no, like no some attacks will be there chemical attacks and it is one of the chemical attack on hard and concrete so in this video mainly introduction and we are discussing causes for chloride attack on concrete structure then print you measures to control the chloride attack on the concrete structure right so first we'll understand what you mean by chloride attack so as i told it is a chemical action when it is a chemical action so it is defined as chloride attack is the chemical action of chloride in inducing so here is a very important chloride action in inducing corrosion to reinforcement corrosion to reinforcement this is very important chloride is acting on like no, it is causing for corrosion to the reinforcement of the concrete structure reinforcement of the concrete structure you can see this in image so in this image it is on concrete structure in this concrete structure we are using reinforcement so reinforcement we are using to because reinforcement had a good tensile resistance capacity so when uh, when chloride is attacking on the reinforcement which, which is causing the corrosion then it is called as a, it is because of the chloride attack so it is a chemical action of chloride in inducing corrosion to reinforcement of concrete structure and when you take durability concept as a very important then for the durability like a chloride attack is causing more so that's what it is a very important phenomena when we consider durability of the concrete so due to the chloride attack durability is decreasing then if you consider among all the source of failure of concrete structure chloride attack accounts 40 percent of contribution so that's what is called as a most important phenomena for to maintain the durability why because if you take failure of structures failure of structures means maybe due to the earthquake maybe due to the some other problems excess load but in this consideration 40 percent durability reduces because of the contribution of chloride attack and it is what it main effect of chloride attack is on is corrosion of reinforcement mainly it is attacking corrosion right so if you take already we discussed right sulfate attack but sulfate attack mainly focusing on the or attack on the concrete attacking on concrete so when it is attacking on concrete and even we know that concrete is good for compressive resistance so compressive resistance is reducing if you consider chloride chloride is mainly attacking on a steel reinforcement that means it is attacking on uh, the tensile resistance right I think you understood chloride attack is mainly causes the or inducing the corrosion to the reinforcement and it is a main factor for durability 40 percent of failure will be takes place because of the chloride attack and main cause is for reinforcement right so then we'll discuss now what are the causes so why it is uh, like no failure of structure so here causes are mainly classified based on the condition one is causes due to inside or uh, inside problem if your concrete structure is there and within the concrete structure there is a chloride attack next is outside the structure outside the structure means what in preparation uh, means after the placement of concrete we had already created the structure due to the creation of structure from the surrounding from the environment we are getting chloride attack right so that's what you classified made on the mainly based on two condition one is inside the concrete structure then outside the concrete structure so first we'll discuss causes inside the concrete structure causes inside the concrete structure so here the chloride exists in concrete during the costing process due to so mainly it is we have to take care when you are neglecting the preparation of concrete so when we are using sea water for the concrete mix proportion or preparations when you are using water because water is one of the source one of the main uh, like no basic requirement when you are using sea water or salt affected water for the preparation of concrete then it is like no causing for the contamination of chloride or chloride is entering towards the concrete or in the concrete product or concrete manufacturing so next is use of calcium chloride as an additive to increase the setting time for example we require now early setting time because some of the process required early setting time for example when you are going for uh, uh, like no under the water construction then it required early setting time so when to increase early setting time we are using calcium chloride so when you are using calcium chloride it increases the content of chloride in a concrete so that is also one of the internal cause of uh, chloride attack right when you use chloride right calcium chloride as an additive 
next is use of aggregate that contained chloride with which is not washed for example when you are using aggregate i told aggregate is also main important product or uh, like no, raw material to prepare the concrete so but if we are neglecting we are not making proper checking of chloride so unwashed we are using unwashed aggregate then it causes the uh, it gives the uh, opportunity to make the chloride attack on the structure which is internal parameter so here unwashed aggregate use of unwashed aggregate so then aggregate with the chloride content more than the limited state actually we require some amount of chloride even it has some good uh, like no effect but if you are not maintaining proper limit while well designing well this while designing we are not taking considerations and when you are neglecting it so that is what we have to maintain limit properly as some standards so within standards only we have to uh get and we have to prepare the concrete right so these mainly factors are inside the concrete structure right which is causing the sulfate uh, which is causing the chloride attack so next we will discuss what are the factors from the outside the concrete structure so now within the structure now from the environment the chloride enter the concrete from in, uh, ex exterior environment to the concrete interior due to so from outside to inside so first is expose of concrete to sea water see sea water has a salt content so salt content has a chloride content so for example you can see in the image if it is like no bridge near the sea so then it is exposed to sea water so when it is exposed to sea water then it has a external effect and if it has a less permeability or more permeability then penetration of sea water will be there inside the structure so it attacks the reinforcement that's what exposed of concrete to sea water next is use of salt to melt the ice for example some of the countries are there they have more snowfall even the due to the snowfall road will block to remove the uh, like no to melt the ice they use they they will use salt so that's what when you are using salt to melt the ice to clear the way so then even it affect on the concrete structure if it is road is concrete made up of concrete or surrounding structure so use of a salt to melt the ice so why they are using salt because to melt the ice and not in many places only in where we have snowfall excess snowfall then is presence of chloride in a soil or presence of chloride around the structure in soil or storage material or ground water for example structure is there and uh, around the structure maybe so a uh, soil will be there right so if soil contains more coal chloride or chloride affected or even ground water which is has a high chlorine content so even some material for example we are storing the material so in the material if you have any material in the go down or something if it has a more chloride content then it is also affects from the outside or from the surrounding nature right i think you understood these three point and as per the study they are telling that comparing both exterior and interior exterior chloride action is are high means the comparatively outside the effect from chloride effect from ex uh, outside the structure is more comparatively so then actually what happens when chloride attacks right so as per the study they are telling that a protect a protective oxide film is present on the surface of the steel reinforcement right so there is a uh film or protective oxide film around the steel reinforcement because due to the concrete alkalinity due to concrete alkalinity so due to the alkalinity of concrete protective oxide film will be there but this oxide film is damaging or it is getting uh, loss because of the carbonization carbonation and chloride attack so these are the main causes for uh, like no uh, affecting on the uh, protective oxide film yes i'll repeat there is a protective oxide film around the uh, reinforcement that film is affected by carbonation and cl uh, chloride attack right that's what when it is damaging after the damage it will make the effect on the uh, reinforcement by affecting corrosion so next we will discuss how to prevent we know that there is a problem and we know what are the different causes so how we are getting chloride attack on the structure but now we have some controlling measures right that is called prevent prevention of chloride attack on the concrete structure so we'll discuss one by one so first is increasing the cover over the reinforcement bar increasing the cover so we studied what you mean by cover right when you are placing the concrete so we have a shuttering you can see in the image we have a shutters a shuttering or like you no know, some uh, preparation of shuttering right so it it will have some cover for example for the foundation 50 mm for beam 20 mm 
right so similarly we have a lintel all the things we have a some cover for example you can see in the this diagram in this diagram right so there is the outside square box so outside square box is shuttering so then inside uh, the rectangular is what reinforcement placing of reinforcement then the gap will be there for shuttering and reinforcement it is called as a concrete cover if you are maintaining good concrete cover it increase it reduces the chloride attack or penetration of chloride inside the concrete as per the study if you are increasing one inch more than the comparatively it increases the double the durability or it makes the uh, more strength as comparatively earlier right so if you are maintaining proper cover between uh, outside the concrete to reinforcement means reinforcement has to covered by concrete so when it is covered by concrete for example if you take a wire so entire wire that uh, steel wire or any material aluminium wire covered by the rubber or some plastic material similarly here also uh, reinforcement of the structure has to covered by concrete so when you will get this kind of cover when you have proper cover right so then next is second point prevent uh, uh, prevent having the rebar coated by epoxy so then or by use of stainless steel clad rebar so here if you are using the reinforcement even you can see here in the image these are the some bars right but these are not normal bars these are some specialized bars of coated by epoxy so you can see some colors yellow color is there green color is there pink color is there that is what not normal uh, reinforcement or bar these are some epoxy coated right if you are using these kind of epoxy coated bars then it has a less effect for the corrosion means mainly it is we are preventing from corrosion so how to prevent from corrosion maybe it is like a painting or something but it is covered by epoxy epoxy right or use of stainless steel clad bar so next uh, point is prevented by decreasing the permeability of the concrete so we know what we mean by permeability permeability means what the, it allows the flow of water or flow of penetration of chemicals right so when concrete has a less permeability or permeability decrease while designing the concrete so then it has a less uh, like no affecting or less possibility of penetration of chloride content so then when it is a less penetration of chloride content inside the structure then definitely it has a less effect right so next is the proper pH value of the pore water in concrete must be met. For example, even pH is very important. If pH value is not properly maintained, then even, even it also increases the rate of corrosion. So, uh, rate of corrosion can also be controlled by maintaining pH. So, it is not a direct factor it is indirect factor if you are not maintaining ph properly then if it is a excess or if it is less then it increases the rate of corrosion so maintaining proper ph even we can control the action of corrosion so next is the proper chloride content limit must be met while designing the mixed proportion so when you are designing i told chloride content will be there for example aggregate will be made up of some contamination will be there but there will be some allowance will be there some content will be allowed for the safer condition and when you are not maintaining proper allow for example if it is uh, chloride content is more than the allowed limit then it's not good we have to maintain within a standard condition and when you maintain a within a standard condition it has a less effect for corrosion right so i think you understood right if you have any problems or any doubts you can uh, call and you can uh, text in a whatsapp for clarification right so thank you for uh, seeing this video